Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 51. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with our traction control feature. Our traction control is going to allow us to take two different wheel speed setups, a front and rear wheel speeds, or driven and undriven. We can calculate the percentage of difference between those, which is known as our slip. Once we know our slip, we can set a threshold or allowable slip that we're going to allow the vehicle to accelerate to. If we start to exceed that percentage of slip, that means we're going into wheel spin. When we're going into wheel spin, we need to take action with the max and pull out power from our engine. We can go about that in a variety of different ways. That can be ignition retard or ignition cut or fuel cut. We have a combination of all of those that we can work with. I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your wheel speeds, how to make sure they're calibrated properly, and then going in and programming our traction control. It's actually relatively simple. We're also going to be exploring how to integrate our traction control with our launch control and power management on a drag race vehicle. We have a lot to learn. Let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our traction control programming within our Max ECU. Our traction control is going to allow us to compare a driven and undriven wheel speed sensor input. We're going to be able to measure the percentage of difference between a driven and undriven speed at any given time. If we get into uh, loss of traction, we're getting into wheel spin, we'll find that our driven speed will exceed our undriven speed. And then we'll have a programmed allowable level of slip or the difference between those two in order for the max to take action to reduce the power output from our engine to get us back into optimized traction conditions where we're going to have our driven speed being an acceptable limit or range between our undriven wheel speed sensors so that we're going to be able to continue to accelerate very quickly whether it's gonna be in a road race situation or a drag race situation, the traction control, it works extremely well, but we do have to go and configure everything and set it up properly. We're gonna take a look at setting up all the details here in this training tutorial, also taking a look at working with and integrating our power management and launch control in conjunction with our traction control, because we have to go in and have them in essentially a, a specific order of operations when we wanna implement each in a drag race application. Let's jump in here and take a look at how to set this up. It's relatively simple. The first thing that we need to do is actually go in and set up our wheel speed sensor inputs. This takes a little bit of time. Let's just go through it. We have checked how to do this in a separate training tutorial earlier in the training course, but we're still gonna go over it in this video because I wanna make sure you have all the information from start to finish looking at traction control. So the first thing we need to do is jump here into our start and we're gonna move down here under inputs. Now, I have wired in a front wheel speed sensor and a rear wheel speed sensor into my max ECU. And I'm using those and I've wired them into a digital input. And in fact, I've used digital input one and digital input two here. Let's go into digital input one and check, check out how to set this up. It's really simple. So the first thing we have to do is go into function. Now my digital speed sensor one, or my digital input one for my speed sensor, I should say, that's gonna be wired into my front wheel speed sensor on my vehicle. Now in this case, I have to go to my function and I have to go and designate what that's going to be. If we drop down our menu here, we're gonna go down into our area under speed sensors. We can see we have speed sensor, wheel speed, front left, and front right. Now in my situation, I've used both the front right and the rear right speed sensors wired in to my max. Let's go and choose that. We're gonna go into our description here and give this a custom name so we know what this is going to be. We can call this front, wheel speed. Now in our active level here, we have to go in and program what the activation is going to be. Now in my situation with this wheel speed sensor, I actually have Ferris Hall Effect wheel speed sensors from MoTeC, um, relatively inexpensive. And what this allows me to do, instead of using a VR or magnetic type of signal, which we can choose down here as our input type, that's our traditional ABS sensor that you can retrofit into your Max. I use these Ferris Hull sensors because they will allow the same level of detection for the teeth as they pass over the sensor, pass in front of the sensor for the actual uh, pickup that's going to be for the ABS ring on my wheel hub, but it's gonna not, not gonna be using a, uh, a VR magnetic sine wave into the max ECU, which can get some distortion in the signal. I'm able to use a Hall effect signal, which is, in my opinion, much, much better. So in this case, we're gonna be setting our active level here to active low, falling edge, and then we'll go here to our pull-up resistor and make sure that this is going to be on. What we're finding is, in this particular situation with my wheel speed sensors, they are going to be sending a pulse output, and it's going to be a Hall effect or square wave type of signal. So we need to go and configure everything here as such. Now, if you do have a VR magnetic 
wheel speed sensors, which uh, were, were the actual sensors itself, you're going to find that ABS sensors are typically two wire, which is magnetic or VR, and you have to go and select this Azure option here. Um, your active level, either falling or rising, um, you can choose either or. Usually it's not going to matter for a wheel speed sensor which one you choose. And then the pull up enable here, you may or may not have to have it on. If you're not finding that you're detecting any output from the wheel speed sensor, uh, you may have to turn your pull up enabled on. You want to keep it off though to get begin. But in my situation, I have a digital input. That's, I mean, it's a defining that it's a Hall effect signal. It's going to be a falling edge type of trigger. It doesn't matter if you choose falling or rising for a Hall effect signal. And I do want to have my 5 volt pull up on. All right, so now we've set up here digital one for front wheel speed. Now my digital two, I'm gonna go and set and do the same thing. This is my rear wheel speed. I'm gonna go down here on my list and I'm gonna be choosing my rear wheel speed and we're gonna to go to speed sensor and then wheel speed right rear. So I used my front right and my right rear in my view. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.